Another Mother's Son is a 2017 British war drama film. It is a captivating movie based on a remarkable true story of an ordinary resident of Jersey Island women. The horrors of occupation and the vile nightmare of people harboring trivial grievances by writing anonymous letters to the Nazi authorities affected more than just the French. The island of Jersey is the only British territory that falls under Nazi rule. Hitler orders everyone to vacate the island except those are British. Then men captured elsewhere in Europe brought or brought to the island and forced to work. The movie is set in Jersey between 1942 and 1944 and depicts the islanders coping with the stresses of life during the invasion by the Nazis. Louisa Gould, a village shopkeeper arrives by cycling to the port where island people were being deported by she. She rushes to say goodbye to her friend and learns that all are being deported from the island except some in higher positions. When one of the Nazi soldiers warned her to move back, she slashes out at him angrily, first Jews, now English, who s next? They spot more Russians in the labor group. They worry about Arthur, who is also an ordinary worker. Louisa Gould along with her friend rushes to the office and requests Brian to give promotion to Arthur. Initially, he says that sudden promotion may create suspicion but later he agrees. While cycling back, they hear a blast sound. One of them says it may be dynamite sound from the quarry where Russians are forced to work. Russians are even being used to build fortifications. They exclaim whether Churchill will save them or not. In the next scene, they set up a house party to celebrate the promotion of Arthur, who joined as the new vice president of the Jersey's post office. In the meantime, Rex hears the blast sound again. He seeks permission to play outside but instead, he arrives at the quarry site. He sees how Russians are tortured by Nazis at the labor site. Louisa searches for him in the home. Soon, Louisa arrives there and takes him away. When Louisa and her friends are having a good time alongside the beach, they see an English girl romancing a German soldier. They mock them and return to the store. While Louisa is enjoying time with her girl gang, a mailman arrives and hands over her Red Cross letter. Louisa devastates reading the death news of her son. Louisa along with her brother and family keeps morning prayers for her son at the church. The next day, when Louisa is busy in her shop, they witness that Russian laborers are being pulled by German soldiers ruthlessly. She rushes to offer them apples but gets threatened by Nazi soldiers. The store supplier arrives at Louisa's store again, he informs her about the cut of ration. Louisa questions him about how another store is getting a higher amount of ration. He answers back saying that it's none of her business. Then Louisa says it bothers her as she has the responsibility to feed their people by providing sufficient rations. At the quarry site, all captivated Russian laborers are made to stand by German soldiers. Among them, one soldier throws a piece of carrot toward them. Suddenly they jump and start fighting just for a piece of carrot, which is a heart-wrenching scene. One Nazi soldier along with his girlfriend arrives at Louisa's store seeking ration. Louisa denies it even after hearing he is not a Nazi. A Russian man escapes from the labor camp and hides at some residences' homes. One more refugee is already seeking shelter there. When they see each other, they start fighting among themselves. Later, they get to know both are Russian fugitives. A fugitive escaped Russian man is brought to Lou. Initially, she feels afraid to provide shelter. Later, she changes her mind as a result of the passing of one of her boys and the discovery of another internee's lifeless body on the shore, entangled in barbed wire while attempting to flee. Hence she accepts him at huge personal risk to keep him in her home. How would we want our boys to be treated? She answers in justification. For Louisa, it's just common decency to do so, and that's what Britain is fighting for. When Louisa asks Russian his name, he utters his long name. She gives him an alternative English name Bill. She gives him a tub of hot water. She notices wounds on Bill while bathing and feels sad about his situation. In the post office, Arthur sees a letter that contains information about fugitives. When Arthur comes home, he was shocked to see a Russian fugitive in his home. He informs Louisa about the letter incident and warns her about future consequences. Then, all the family members decide together to keep it a secret from the outside world and protect Bill from the Germans. Louisa introduces Bill to all her co-workers at her store including Annie, who works at the Louisa store. When Bill and Annie look at each other they get attracted. Then, they all decide together to keep it a secret from the outside world. As time passes Bill and Rex become good friends. Bill borrows a Russian-English dictionary and started learning English. Louisa gives him a painting book after seeing his interest in painting. As time passes, the closeness between Annie and Bill increases and could not go unnoticed by Louisa. One day, Bill sketches the portrait of Louisa. She rejoices and asks Bill about his belief in God. He angrily replies that he and his countrymen wouldn't have suffered if God showed mercy. Furthermore, he continued by saying that Louisa's son would not have died if God is there. Hearing about his son, Louisa felt anguish. She instantly orders him to go away from her. Bill burns that sketch and says Louisa that she is not his mother. Louisa hurries to church in search of peace of mind. After returning from church, she notices Bill repairs her spectacles properly. 
but as time goes by, she becomes overconfident and started to take Bill outside. By seeing German officers, Bill started to shake off. They escape from there. Louisa makes arrangements for a false identity card for Bill. One day while returning from the French store, a German officer follows Bill and Louisa to return the lost purse. Bill started to shake off and peed in his pants itself out of fear. Louisa removes Annie from the work. When Bill asks about it, she gives an excuse saying that Annie has a better paying job. She further tells him that they will go to hire a new worker in their store soon. Louisa is busy collecting the wood from the beach. Bill hands over a letter to Louisa which contains information about her second son Ralph. Hearing about the safe news of her son, both of them jump out for joy. Bill also starts collecting wood to help Louisa. On the eve of Christmas Day, Louisa and her family are celebrating with cake and wine. Louisa offers wine to Rex. Suddenly, I warn telling them that he is just 12 by age. Louisa says that wine is prepared just from apples so it won't harm. She gives them a glass of wine Rex. Everybody cheers for the promotion of Arthur. At the Christmas party, Rex forces Bill to sing a Russian song. When Bill sings a Russian song, Nazi soldiers overhear it and demand an inspection of the house. Then Louisa's brother Harold comes forward singing a Russian song and handled the situation. As Harold is a teacher by profession, German soldiers have credibility in him. So, they left out and went. Meanwhile, Arthur informs all family members that he received six letters containing location information about Bill. Further, he warns if Bill continues to stay over here, it may put his entire family in a dangerous situation. Bill listens to it and replies that he no more he wants to trouble them and leaves off. Bill packs his luggage hurriedly. Louisa convinces him to stay there by saying it's his home too and there is no need for him to go somewhere. Later, she gifts him a coin which she thought to present to her son. Thus how Louisa considers Bill as her son. Three old age women come to Louisa's ration store asking for a ration. When Louisa denies it by saying shortage of ration. Later they curse her and go. The English girl who seems to have an affair with a German soldier crosses off Louisa at church. Louisa scolds her and slaps her face. The seventh letter having information about Bill arrives at the post office. Before Arthur tears it, a German officer arrives. Hence, he keeps the letter on the table itself and vanishes. Later, Brian, the manager of that post office posts that letter. Arthur rushes to the home soon and informs that Bill needs to be shifted to some safer place. All family members together erase all the proofs and materials related to Bill meanwhile Louisa makes an alternate arrangement for Bill's staying. A store supplier comes and takes Bill along with him to some safer place. While leaving Bill starts crying and says thanks to Louisa. Later, the police arrive at Louisa's house and start the inspection. They are about to return with empty hands, and a German officer who has an envoy with Louisa hands over a Russian-English dictionary. All family members including Louisa are taken into custody and brought to court. Harold and Nicole get five months and four months of jail sentences respectively. Louise gets two-year imprisonment. Bill breaks down upon hearing the news. In August 1944, a train arrives in North France which contains many captivated women including Louisa. Louisa sees Harold at the railway station and calls him. He informs her that his birthday is today, and in return she wishes him. The train leaves the station. On May 9, 1945, the English gained victory over Jersey Island. Ivy witnesses that English soldiers are putting border fences on the beaches. Arthur arrives and informs Ivy about the information of Harold. Ivy along with her son rushes to the hospital to visit Harold. Harold's health condition will be at a bad stage. When Ivy asks him about Louisa, he couldn't able to tell. When captivated women including Nicole got released, they return back to Jersey. Ivy asks Nicole the whereabouts of Louisa. She also says no and starts crying. Louisa's spectacle will be found one day at the dump site of the concentration camp and later gets to know about her death at the gas chamber. Thus the brave and compassionate lady laid her life. Ivy becomes the first woman minister in the parliament. Harold provides proof based on which many trials will be taking place. Many culprits get death sentences too. He continues his profession as a teacher. Louise's son Ralph won the war. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and also subscribe my channel for more videos like this. See you in the next video.